What's going on guys, this is ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to easily add bezels to your MAME and RetroArch games. As of making this video, this technique works with MAME games and MAME games running in RetroArch. It also works with the following systems in RetroArch. Atari 5200, Atari 7800, Vectrex, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive, the NES, 32X, Sega CD, Sega SG-1000, Super Nintendo, Super Graphics, and PlayStation 1. More will be added down the road, but it takes a long time for these bezels to be made. There is a bezel for each game. It's a custom bezel for each individual game. It's very easy to install. I'm going to demo it now real quick. I'm just going to head over to Super Nintendo. I've already installed it for this system. And we'll just open up Hagani. And as you can see, we have a custom bezel for Hagani. On each side, there's usually black bars. Now it's filled with nice artwork, and we have kind of a CRT bezel type around the screen itself. We're going to be using the bezel project for Windows to install these bezels. Now this is a super easy application to use, but before we get started, there's a few things to note. If you have a bunch of random ROMs and you've renamed them yourself, there's a chance that the Bezel Project won't pick these up and add bezels to each game. I personally use no intro ROM sets, and I know 100% that it works with those. I've also heard word that it works with the main naming convention, so what you need to do is kind of have the correct naming convention, like the no intro ROM sets do, for this to work correctly. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get this set up. First thing we're going to do is download the bezel project. I'm going to leave a link in the description. We want to get the Windows version. We're going to go to release. We're going to download the EXE. So I finished downloading the EXE and just placed it on my desktop for easy access. We're going to go ahead and double click on the application to launch it. Go ahead and read through this. It's going to tell you everything you need to know to get this set up. I'm going to click next. From here, we can choose what systems we want to download bezels for. To make this a little quicker, I'm just going to uncheck MAME, and I'm only going to check a few of these in here. I'm just going to go with Mega Drive, NES, and I'll do SG-1000. So I have SG-1000, NES, and Mega Drive. I'm going to click Next. Now this part is very important. We need to navigate to where we have our RetroArch installed that we use with LaunchBox. Mine's located in my LaunchBox directory, Emulators, RetroArch, right here. Yours may be located somewhere else, but that's where I keep mine. I'm going to browse to that directory. It's on a separate drive. Just going to choose my RetroArch install directory. Click OK and install. So this is going to go ahead and download the bezels, extract them to the RetroArch directory, and when this is finished, we have bezels installed for each game. Just give it a little time to finish up. My internet's been acting up the last few days, so it might take a little while. I will fast forward this. The installation process is now completed. Don't forget to check out the Bezel Project Facebook page. I'm going to leave a link in the description to that. If you have a Facebook and you use the Bezel Project, Definitely think about going and thanking these guys and girls because they spent a lot of time making this. Click Finish. All we need to do now is launch a game through RetroArch. You can do it through Big Box if you like. I'm just going to start up LaunchBox. And by the way, it doesn't matter what core you use. This will detect the system you're using and throw a bezel up for you. So first up, I installed some Sega Genesis bezels. We'll just go with something easy here. Let's do Alien Storm. Double click. Give us our start screen. Launch box recently implemented. We have a bezel for Alien Storm. I'm going to back out of here, test a couple more. Atomic Robo Kid. Custom bezel. I also installed some for NES, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, and SG-1000. I 
And there you have it. You now have custom bezels for each system that the bezel project supports. They will be adding more over time. Just takes time to get this stuff made. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We really appreciate you watching. Just follow the on-screen prompts if you want to do the MAME install. It works exactly the same. You just need to have your MAME directory set up in the correct location. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.